Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal to seek trust vote in assembly today. Congress reassures its outside support to arm Army Party. Delhi government order CAG audit of Delhi's uh, distribution uh, companies rejects objections of park companies to the audit on the ground that the matter is subjudice. Maharashtra cabinet to reconsider its stand on Adarsh probe report. Cabinet had rejected the report severely indicting senior Congress leaders including four former chief ministers of graft. Taking a cue from the Aam Aadmi Party in Delhi, Congress MP Sanjay Nirupam demands subsidy of 50% on electricity bills for people in Mumbai. Chief Minister Prithira Chavan says it can be considered. Centre cancels 3,600 crore rupees VVIP chopper deal with Anglo-Italian firm Augusta Westland. Deal to buy 12 choppers following allegations of kickbacks. Widespread anger over double gang rape and murder of a minor girl in Kolkata. Father of the victim claims she was burnt alive by the perpetrators. Pressure mounts on Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Veer Bhadra Singh on alleged favours to a power company. BJP petitions Election Commission to take action and Singh against Singh and his wife for hiding facts. Lokpal bill gets President Pranam Mukherjee's assent. The bill provides for creation of an anti-graft watchdog which will bring under its purview even the office of the Prime Minister with certain safeguards. Newly elected Maldivian President Yamin Abdul Gayoom to meet President and Prime Minister today. Important bilateral agreements are on the cards. Encroachment cases lodged against 100 rioted families in Muzaffarnagar for allegedly encroaching upon a government land. Forest Department sends notice to 270 families asking them to vacate that government land. BSP Chief Mayavati's close aide Nasimuddin Siddiqui and former Minister Babu Singh Kushwaha are among 19 people booked for their alleged role in Rs. 1400 crore memorial park scam. In West Bengal, 13 infants died in two days in a state-run hospital at Malda. Several uh, children undergoing treatment in the hospital also stated to be critical. Telecom regulator Tri imposes fines worth 5 crore rupees in 2013 on operators for poor services, orders disconnection of 9 lakh numbers and blacklists over 1.74 lakh unregistered individuals for pesky calls. The price of non-subsidized cooking gas hiked by a steep 220 rupees per bottle. The non-subsidized 14.2 kilogram cooking gas cylinder will now cost 1,241 rupees up from 1,021 rupees in Delhi. A special court in Pakistan hearing the treason case of former President Pervez Musharraf orders police to produce him before the court today. Musharraf failed to appear before court yesterday. In Bangladesh, opposition BNP enforces non-stop blockade across the nation to fall the 5th Jan January general elections. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urges voters to actively participate in these elections. Palestinian ambassador to the Czech Republic has been killed in an explosion at his home in the Czech capital Prague. He had only just moved there after taking office in October. Experts from Iran and the P5 plus 1 group of world powers said 20 January to begin implementing the Geneva deal on Tehran's nuclear program.
In Chennai Open, India's chances get a jolt as Leander Pace pulls out of doubles event and Somdev Dev Varman loses. However, Yuki Bhamri advances to his next round. Intense cold wave conditions persist in North India with thick fog disrupting air, rail and road traffic in several parts of the region. Heavy snowfall disrupts normal life in Jammu and Kashmir.